Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a custom postal map into your guys' 5M server. So the first thing you guys want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That's going to lead you guys right here to this postal code map and mini map mod on forum.cfx.re. Now if you guys didn't want to install this map mod in particular, maybe you guys wanted a satellite mod or maybe a slightly different postal map mod, then feel free to do so. Just find one on forum.cfx.re and you guys can follow this tutorial as well. It will work for literally any postal code map, satellite map mod. It'll be the exact same. So once you guys have got a map mod that you want, for this one, scroll on down to download links and just download it by clicking here and then open the download folder on up. Once you guys have done that, we're going to minimize to our desktop and we're going to find our 5M server. Here is mine right here, 5M server. Just going to open that on up. We're going to go to TX data, CFX default and resources. Although if you guys are installing this into a Cubicore server, instead of going to TX data and CFX default, you'll go to TX data and Cubicore framework and then into your resources folder. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.hgnetwork.1. Once you guys have done that, we're going to right click new folder. and we're going to call this folder brackets map mods and then close in brackets. And now this will be a nice subcategory folder. So we only need to ensure this folder and every single mod we place inside of it will automatically run really useful, really easy and a nice little bit of organization for us. So say if you guys were to have developers on your server, and they didn't know how you set everything up, they'd be able to find everything really easily and also just for yourself so everything's nice and neat. So once you guys have done that, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be map mods. We're going to grab the postal map resource. As you guys can see, if you go into the server resources folder and then the map folder, because it contains a stream folder, that is going to be the mod we put into a 5M server. So we just grab this map mod and drag and drop it into the map mods folder. It's a lot of map mods words. And then what you guys are going to want to do is close the download on down because we do not need that anymore. And then from here, all you guys are going to want to do, go back to resources, copy the name of that subcategory folder we just made, go back to CFX default and open your server.cfg on up. Under the last ensure line on your server.cfg, we're going to press enter two times and we're going to do two hashtags and then we're going to type map mods. These two hashtags make it so the server.cfg won't read it as a line of code. So basically we can make a nice little subheading. Now we know everything we ensure below here will be to do with map mods. So say if we made a different map mod folder, we can ensure it below here as well. So we're going to type ensure and then paste the name of that folder we placed our mod into. And now every single time we place another mod into that map mods folder, it will automatically be ensured. So you do not need to ensure it every single time, which is really useful and something to get into the habit of doing. Once you guys have done that, hit file, then save, close your server.cfg on down, and we should be good to start our server on up and join the server, and we should see our new postal map. Okay, so now we are in game. You guys can already see our mini map has got a different style to it. And if we hit pause and we go to our map, there we go. We can see our postal map has successfully been installed, just like that. Really simple, really easy, and something that definitely makes a big difference to your 5M server. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did please sure to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what video you guys want to see next because i would be interested in some video ideas since i'm sort of hitting the bottom of the barrel right now and also if you guys didn't want to go through all this faff of setting up a 5m server and you just wanted to install all these mods in literally just one click then be sure to check out hdnetwork.1 because that is exactly what that is you can set up a fully modded 5m server in literally just one click using the hdnetwork auto installer and other than that i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye